For over a century, Tasmania's Central West has been a mecca for exploration and exploitation of natural resources like minerals and timber. Hydroelectric power is no new development there either. In 1914, three years after its inception, the Mount Lyle Mining and Railway Company was drawing power for smelting from its own Lake Margaret hydro scheme. The old generating station still supplies much of the company's power requirement. Seventy years ago, such works were as arduous as they were ambitious, but both these qualities have been changed by new technology. Most of the foot slogging has gone and the developments are much more ambitious. Stretching north from Lake Margaret is the area of the proposed Anthony power development. It's comprised of six relatively small concrete faced rock fill dams in a total catchment area of more than 112 square kilometers. By the time it is bridged by the Zeehan Highway, the Henty River carries the water of the multitude of creeks and rivulets draining the western slopes of the West Coast Range. Some of these creeks will be dammed. Water held by four dams high on the slopes will be diverted to the east, eventually into the Anthony Power Station, to be built here on the banks of Lake Murchison. The headwaters of the Langdon River will be stopped here and diverted via a canal and creek into the Lower Newton Reservoir. The water stored here will be pumped over the saddle into the upper Newton storage area, 42 metres higher. White Spur Creek drains the eastern side of Mount Dundas. Water held by a dam here will join the waters of Julia Creek near this gold exploration camp of the Mount Lyle Company, which holds the exploration permits for the area. From the Julia Creek Dam, the combined waters run by canal into the Upper Newton storage area. A cut will carry the water from the opposite end of this new lake into the largest storage of the scheme to be formed by damming the Anthony River before it plunges down a gorge toward Lake Murchison. From here, a tunnel will lead to the Anthony Power Station over seven kilometers away and some 280 meters lower on the lake side. This additional water will be used again as it increases the capacity of the Pyman River schemes. Behind the Anthony Dam, this button grass plain, part of the Henty surface, will be flooded below the level of all the natural lakes nearby. The access road from the north will pass between majestic Mount Murchison and the Murchison Dam, up the timbered slopes on the sheltered eastern side to the rolling Henty surface. Lake Sandra and Lake Gay in the southern side of Mount Murchison will come within an hour's walking distance from the road. While at Lake Selina, the proposed road will pass close between it and the new Lake Anthony. An accessible area of spectacular natural beauty will become available to the public on a new alternative route between Tulla and Queenstown. All this is only a few kilometres south of the heavily exploited Williamsford area.
Through another western area where miners and timber getters have long since done their work, wanders the King River. Under the King River power development, this plain will be flooded, offering new water sport and fishing possibilities to the residents of Queenstown. The river turns west to the sea through a gorge between Mount Huxley and Mount Jukes. From a 100 meter high dam in the gorge, water will drop through a six kilometer tunnel to the Newell power station. The southern extremity of the lake is formed by a 23 meter high earth fill embankment across here at the Andrew Divide, which borders on the World Heritage Area. A new road from South Queenstown will be built adjacent to the Queen River to the Newell power station. About six kilometres of the Lyle Highway will have to be relocated and the proposed new route loops south across an island in the new lake by a causeway and bridge. Old mining operations at the head of Linda Creek have caused heavy metal pollution as it runs toward the King River. The same occurs with Comstock Creek to the north. Both of these creeks will be diverted into the Queen River to ensure the high quality of the water in the new lake. <laughs>